using tabs can be a great way for keeping a page organized and segmenting content for your readers, enabling them to easily find and navigate to relevant sections. To quickly get started with the macro, you'll want to start with the page in edit mode and enter the shortcuts, open curly brackets and tabs. The tab macro comprises two parts that work as a pair. Tabs container, which we'll be using first, simply groups or contains a number of tabs added to the page, while tab pages make up the tabs themselves. In the macro editor, there is an option for styling your tab if you choose to. If you need guidance, you can refer to our documentation for details. For now, let's stick to the essential parameters. So from the drop down, select how you'd like the tabs displayed. I'll keep the default as horizontal. In the parameter text shown on hover, try to give the container a meaningful name, as this can be seen when readers hover over the area and click insert. Now using the same method, let's add a few tabs to our container. This time select tabs page from the drop down. Again, sticking with the essential parameters, let's just add a title. Select the checkbox if you want to enable lazy loading for this tab. Once again, click insert. I'll quickly add another tab to the container. Now type or paste content into the body of the macro. And finally, if you haven't already, then click preview or publish your page to see the macro in action.